If you're following along with my Grandstream Software UCM video series, then you'll know that we've already installed our software UCM, which is Grandstream's PBX on our GMK Tech Mini PC. Well, in this video, we're going to continue on with this series and proceed to set up our PBX further on the GMK Tech Mini PC. So let's continue on. I hop onto the PC behind me here and I'll show you how to continue on with getting your PBX set up on your GMK Tech Mini PC. So we'll get things set up so that we have our telephones up and running and we can take and make and receive calls. So we'll get to it right now. So here we are at the computer screen and what I've already done is logged in to my router and obtained the IP address for my Grandstream WP816 cordless Wi-Fi telephone. And as you can see, I've entered the IP address in the address bar and we're now at the welcome to WP816 login page. And as you can see, here's an image of the actual telephone that I'm using for my PBX. So what we first need to do is log into our UCM. So this is the Grandstream software UCM. So what we'll do is switch to the other tab in my browser. And here we are at the welcome to the software UCM screen. So what I will do is log in to the software UCM using my username and password that I've already created. And now I've logged in, it's taken us to our dashboard for the software UCM. So here you can see we have the storage use resource software UCM service, which provides the license details and then the status of the PBX. And as you will see for extensions, we have zero of three configured. So what we'll do is go into the extensions by selecting the extension trunk menu from the left hand side. Then from that menu, we'll select extensions. And as you can see, this has taken us in to the list of extensions. We have extension 1000, 1001 and 1002 which are all showing as unregistered. So what we're going to do is note down the extension details and then what we'll do is put them in the telephone so that it links the telephone to the software you see at PBX against extension 1000 here. So what we'll do is click on the square with the pen in it for extension 1000 and as you can see we've got call privileges of local. So what we need to do is change this to national so then select the box and change it to national. As you can see, I just done. So what we need to do is note down the extension. So we've got that as 1000. So we know that the extension number is 1000. And then what we need to do is also note down the SIP password, which you'll see here. So if we click the symbol here, this will then reveal the SIP password. So make a note of that by either noting it down on pen and, with pen and paper or just copy and paste it into a notepad document temporarily. So we'll copy this and then paste it into notepad plus plus. So there we have the password. So we'll just minimize that out the way for the time being. And then what we can do is press cancel on this extension here. And then all we need to do is switch back to the tab for the WP816 Wi-Fi cordless telephone here. And what we'll do is log into it. So for the username, we'll type in the username and password, which I've already created. And then this has taken us into the account status screen. As you'll see, we've got account one and also account two, which are both showing as blank and grayed out because they're not registered with any PBX. So what we're going to do to register it with our software UCN PBX is click on accounts from the left side menu then select account and as you can see this has taken us into the screen to enter the details for account one. Now the WP816 can have two accounts associated with it so if you have for example two different PBXs you could associate two different PBXs with account one and account two or if you want to have more than one account registered for the same PBX you could also do this for example, you could have it registered to extension 1000 and also 1001 under account one and then account two. So in this case, we're just going to register account one. So for the account name, we'll type in 1000. And then for the SIP server, we need to type in the IP address 
of our software UCM. So if we go back to the other tab, you'll see at the address bar here at the top, the IP address is 192.168.1.251. So we'll switch back to the tab for the Gradstream telephone. And in the SIP server, we'll enter the IP address for our software UCM, which is 192.168.1.251 in this case. Then what we need to do for the SIP user ID is again, type in the extension number and also for the SIP authentication ID, type in the extension number. Then for the SIP authentication password, what we need to do is type in the password that we've copied and pasted into our notepad document. So here we have the password. So we'll copy this and then paste it into the SIP authentication password box. Then for the voicemail access number, we need to enter asterisk. So the star button or star key and then 97. So you should have for the voicemail access number star 97. Then once you've entered those details, all you need to do is select save and apply at the bottom. Then it will say applied successfully, as you'll see the message just popped up briefly on the screen here. And then what we need to do is go back to the status. So select status and then select account status. And here you'll now see that we've got a green icon against the account one. And we've also got the SIP user ID of 1000 and the SIP server. So this green icon means it's successfully connected to our software UCM PBX. So now to test this, then for example, if I dial asterisk or the star and then 97 on the keypad of the telephone, and then enter the password for the voicemail. You have no messages. Press two to change voicemail. Press three for advanced options. Press zero for mailbox option. And as you can hear, it dialed the voicemail into the voicemail mailbox of the software UCM for extension 1000 after putting in the correct password. Now, if you don't know the password for the voicemail box, then you can find this by going back to your software UCM. And here you'll see we're at the list of extensions. Now, just before we look at the password, you'll see that the connection is now idle for extension 1000. And also we have an IP and port number. So this means that UCM, so the software PBX is successfully connected to the telephone. And if we go back to the WP816, you'll see that I've said that we have a green icon. So this means that the telephone is connected to the software UCM. And then if we go back to the UCM, you'll see that the software UCM is successfully connected back to the extension. So to find the voicemail password for each extension, all you need to do is click on the pen with the box icon. Then at the top, select the voicemail tab. So here, then you will see we've got voicemail password. So to reveal the password, which is different for each extension, all you need to do is click this little half sun icon here and this will reveal the voicemail password for extension 1000. Now you can of course just remove it if you don't wish to have a password for the voicemail box, or you could just change it to a different one. Say for example, we could change it to 123, or we could just remove it, which will then not require a voicemail password. However, we'll just cancel this and leave it as default. So this successfully confirms that the telephone has now been linked back to our software UCM PBX. So this means we can now take and receive incoming calls. However, you may want to set your UCM to direct incoming telephone calls to a specific extension so that you can have, for example, one extension receive incoming calls only. And then if an incoming call from the outside world is received, it will just ring, for example, one extension, or you can have it ring a group of extensions or just, for example, two extensions or all of them. So to do this, all you need to do is go into inbound routes, which is at the left hand side here under the extension trunk menu. So select inbound routes. Then you'll see that we set up in the previous episode. So in episode one, we set up VoIP phone inbound. So what we need to do is click on the pen and the square icon, and this will take us into the edit inbound rule. So for example, we scroll down and you'll see we've got default mode here with default destination. And it's currently set by default by 
DID. So what we need to do is change this to extension and then it will allow you to select which extension you want to have your incoming calls first ringing it on. So for example, we can set extension 1000, which is the phone that we've just configured. So any incoming calls will now ring on the telephone extension 1000. So of course, to apply it, you would need to click save and then at the top, make sure you click apply changes. Also always click apply changes. Otherwise the changes will not be applied when you restart or log out of your software UCM. So click apply changes. And now any incoming calls will now ring on extension 1000 by default. As you can see in the destination field here, it's saying default mode is user extension 1000. Now, if you want more than one extension to ring at the same time, for example, all of your telephones to ring, which is probably the case if you're at home, you'd want all the telephones to ring. To do this, what we need to do is set up a ring group. Now to do this, we need to select basic call features from the left side, then select ring groups. Now you'll see this has taken us into the ring group screen. So what we need to do is click add and then for the ring group name, call this, let's call it default group. So we'll have to call it default underscore group as the UCM do not allow spaces between text. There we've entered default underscore group. So the extension number for this group will be 6400. And then what we need to do is add the extensions into this ring group that we want to ring for incoming calls. So in this case, we'll add all of them. So we'll select the square here next to the number three. And then what we need to do is click the right arrow here, which will then transfer the extensions from this box here across to this one. So this now means that all of these extensions have been applied to extension 6400, which is our ring group. So all we need to do is click on save. Then what we need to do is go back in to our inbound routes. So select extension and trunks, select inbound routes, and then click the pen icon and then scroll down to the bottom where we have default mode. And as you can see, it's still set for extension 1000 to ring for incoming calls only. So what we need to do to set all of the telephones to ring for inbound calls is change this to group. So select ring group from the de default destination menu, and then it will automatically put in the default group. If you have more than one ring group, it will ask you to choose which one. So of course we only have one ring group. So the ring group, what we've just created was called default group. So then we'll click save and again, click apply changes. Now, any incoming calls from the outside world into our software UCM using the VoIP phone telephone number that we configured in the previous episode. So anyone that dials that telephone number that we registered with VoIP phone in the previous episode will ring all of our telephone extensions. So extension 1000, 1001 and 1002, which are here in the extension. So they will all ring for incoming calls. So that's how easy it is to set up the software you see with basic access to the telephone basic setup in the software you see. Of course, there are a lot more advanced features. For example, for call features here, you'll see we've got speed dials, event lists, call queues, and so on. But these would mainly be used for business purposes. So in this video, we'll end this video here, how to set up our software UCM and our Grandstream VoiceOver IP telephones in our software UCM using our Citrunk provider, VoIP phone, .co.uk. So I hope you found this video series useful and brief and easy to follow. And thanks for watching and more videos on various subjects are coming again soon. So take care and bye for now.